Problem 2.1. This is a one-dimensional conduction steady case. We have a shape that is axisymmetrical to this given axis. We have a energy that enters the surface. We have an energy that leaves the surface. We have a different entrance and exit, exit temperatures. We have constant properties and we have no internal heat generation in the body. Let's just start the analysis with a balance of energy. Since there is no internal heat generation, the balance energy becomes the energy going in minus the energy that leaves has to be equal to the heat exchange. And because it's in only one direction, it's Qx. Qx is defined using Fourier law as K, the area in the x-axis, and the gradient of the temperature. Because it's only 1D, we could simply write the TDX. Notice that the value of the energy exchange has to be constant, which means that this value of Qx has to be constant. Since we have the value of K to be constant, that means that Ax times the TDX has to be constant. That means that if Ax goes up with the x-axis, then the t dx has to go down with the x-axis. And the opposite behavior uh, occurs. If ax goes down with the x-axis, then the t dx has to go up with the x-axis. If we represent the area and the temperature in a graph, we could see a relationship in which the area increases and the temperature will decrease. Now, keep in mind that what we're looking for is a relationship between the area and the TDX, where the TDX is the slope of the actual temperature profile. 